Okay, so to finish us out with um, uh, the vena cava and the aorta, um, we're thinking about the areas that immediately bring blood flow back into the heart or take it away from the heart for systemic circulation. We already talked about that a little bit on the heart model, but if you notice here, it's we have it labeled both on the heart and on the circulatory board. So I wanna make sure it's clear some of the different features you can see on both models. So uh, first starting with the heart, I've just taken some of these flaps off so we can actually see better the different chambers. Um, but uh, if you remember, we already talked about the vena cava, the superior vena cava, where blood is flowing into uh, the right atrium right here. And then on the bottom, this would be the inferior vena cava, okay? They're both blue because they're veins and they're part of systemic circulation, all right? On the circulatory board, we can see that same structure coming in to the heart right here. So here is this first chamber, this right atrium. And you can see actually it would be coming in here, number 17. Um, and it's also coming on the inferior side down here through the diaphragm. You can't really see it on the model. All right. Next, we have the aorta where we're thinking about heart uh, blood first coming out of the heart. So from this left ventricle, okay, it's going to go through the aortic semilunar valve right there. You can see it labeled here, just like we did on the heart. And it's going to come into the aorta. So this whole structure here is the aorta. And those same... Uh, uh, structures that we saw in the heart that come off, off of the aorta that begin some of these major arteries, you can actually see them here, but they're not always labeled on the circulatory board. Um, and so as we talk about the aorta itself, this whole area is the aorta. There's the ascending aorta coming out of the heart. The aortic arch is kind of that hook. And then the descending aorta is right here. And it's actually labeled as number 20 on the circulatory board. Now to see the other parts of the aorta, it's better labeled on the heart itself. So again, we have the vena cava, all right? We go through pulmonary circulation back in to the atrium over here. And then from this left atrium into the left ventricle, the left ventricle then is gonna pump it out through a, this other semilunar valve right here that's deep. And uh, this semilunar valve is called the aortic semilunar valve because it's pumping into the aorta rather than pulmonary circulation. And then number seven really describes this entire aorta, all right? Specifically seven is like the ascending aorta and then A starts this hook or the aortic arch. What's not really labeled, it kind of starts here as the descending aorta. So on the exam, probably we would look at the structure here for the ascending, here for the, uh, the aortic arch, and then go back over to the circulatory board where number 20 is to be able to see the descending aorta. Uh, now, in addition, there's also the ligamentum arteriosum. Um, so literally this means like a ligament of arteries. So this is the pulmonary artery right here that we've already talked about, number four, okay? Remember A for away, even though it's blue, it's part of pulmonary circulation. And then this is the aorta we just talked about, which is the beginning of systemic arteries. And so the, the, uh, the ligamentum arteriosum right here is like this little silver piece that basically is connecting in. Think about kind of like a ligament to connect in the two uh, sections, the two arteries here. So that little silver piece. Um, and then finally, the brachiocephalic artery, the carotid artery, and the subclavian artery, we can see here is B, C, and D. B is the brachiocephalic, C is the carotid, and D is the subclavian artery. All right, and we'll talk about uh, those arteries actually on the circulatory board when we talk about uh, systemic arteries.